Hey guys, Henning and Morten from Flip Normals here. And in today's video, we are sharing a free excerpt from our newly released Marvelous Designer tutorial, where we show you how to design this and make this costume, like this uh, hip hop style costume inside a Marvelous Designer. So this was inspired by a CR music video called Level Up, as well as combining various costumes from various dance artists on Instagram. Also, a quick shout out to Vassal Pechev, who is one of the creators on the Flute Numbers Marketplace. He graciously provided us uh, with the space mesh to use. So make sure to check out his products. Uh, link is in the description, as well as a link to the new tutorial. So I hope you guys enjoy it. All right, so now we're just going to be adding some pockets to the, the pants here. And I want some pockets here on the front and some pockets on the back. It's not all the references have this, but you know, feel free to freestyle and edit the designs however you want. So the first kind of pocket is just going to be this pocket that runs across here. And the second pocket is going to be so like these back pockets. It just adds a little bit of bulk to, to the design and just makes it look a little more realistic. So first we got to figure out where do I want the pockets to be. And I sort of want them to go across like this. So we can just experiment with placing some internal lines. So let's do this, place one here and let's hit enter, let's see what we get. Okay, so the pocket might be a little bit too big. So we'll just pull it up just a bit. We don't want it to, you know, take too much focus. We just, we want it to exist, but not to dominate the design. So that's pretty cool. So it runs across down there. And I've also just frozen the underlying fabrics just so they don't, you know, need to compute as well. We don't run into issues with intersections. So again, just simply hit this line, right click and say, let's cut it off for now because we need to do some extra stuff here. So I'll move this out of the way. And you can see this happens on both sides because we used symmetric pattern with sewing. Okay, so now this has been cut off. You can see this is still sewn onto here, so that's fine. So if we just start to sim this now, it just rips the pocket open a little bit. That's cool. And then we want to line this with like kind of like an inside pocket. So the easiest way to do this is let me actually just move this out of the way a little bit again. Hit the Z key, right click here, and say offset as internal line because we want something to sew this onto. Yeah, that looks good. 20, 20 is probably good. So now we're offsetting as an internal line instead of offsetting as a pattern outline. So we only get this part now. Now we're going to be using this internal line here to sew our pocket to. So but first we need this part uh, as a piece of fabric as well. So just with this um, polygon tool, you can just snap this with the smart grid enabled or smart snap onto there and then just move your new shape out of the way. Then you don't have to cut anything off or do anything special. So if we look at this, that's now there. Just gotta make sure that, okay, that's the right pants. <laughs> just needed to make sure this was on the right side. So obviously that doesn't exist over here yet. But we can just do one at a time and then just, just mirror this over. So we'll just roughly get it positioned, maybe something like this. And then what we want to do is we want to sew this line, this inside line to the internal line, but this needs to be underneath. So maybe to better illustrate this, let me just assign a new material to this, call this one inside. And I'm just going to make it slightly darker, just so it's easier to see. Okay, then with the segment sewing tool, just hit the end key, we can sew these onto here. Now this is going to sew perfectly. And it's going to be the same size because we just you know, we just traced it from there. Okay, so let's try to sim that now. Okay, and now that just sits there. Now what we want to do, let me just actually select these, hit control K to freeze it. Cause then the pants don't really move. 
Now this needs to be on the inside. So to make to make it understand <laughs> that it needs to be on the inside, we we're going to be changing the layer order a little bit. So we can select any pattern and then say layer set this to one, just something that's above zero, because right now everything else has a layer height or a layer value of, of zero. If we sim this again, and boom, it goes inside. Now, uh, it's good to keep track of this and then undo your layer stuff because it can create a lot of issues with intersections. Uh, so you, like when, when you're done with the layers, you just wanna make sure that you undo uh, the Sort of the layer adjustments. Cool. So that's been sewn onto there. And then now what we want to do is we just want to sew this pattern onto this pattern. So again, segment sewing tool, sew this onto there, sew it, and there we go. That's really it. Now we have this illusion of a pocket because we have this loose hanging fabric, and this part is just sewn to there. It might look a little complex to begin with, but it's a it's a quite a pretty simple pocket to actually make. And once you get the hang of it, it's pretty quick. So we want to do that on the other side as well. So we can just select this pattern, hit control D, symmetric pattern with sewing. And if we go in with your B key or N key, then you can see, okay, this has already been sewn on there. Obviously, it's, uh, <laughs> it's floating in space right now. So we want to just fix that, move that in, set this again to a layer height of one, just to help it resolve better. Sim it. There we go. Select our pants. And then we can say zero. And now that sits perfectly inside as a little front pocket. Remember to save your projects. All right, so now we're gonna focus on the back pockets here. And these back pockets aren't gonna be sliced up like the front pocket was. They're just gonna be sitting. It's just gonna be a piece of fabric sitting on top of the of the butt here. So we'll just place, that's a pretty good placement <laughs> actually. Uh, maybe just edit this a little bit, make it a little smaller and not as tall, something like that. We can always adjust the position of this afterwards, and then the pocket will just follow. So if you just select this and right click on it, you can say clone as pattern, and then we can just clone this as a pattern and drag it out. And this is gonna be just the piece of fabric that sits on top. So let's just move this into place like this. And again, we're just gonna be doing one pocket for now, and then we'll just uh, mirror it over and attach it. So with the Z key, or I don't need to know, yeah, the edit, edit pattern tool, just right click on this point and say unfold. So we want to add some thickness to this pocket. That's why we're unfolding it. So we'll sort of be attaching it to here. And then this will fold in on itself and be welded on. It's it, it's a this pocket can be a little more complicated to wrap your head around but once you do it a few times it's it's a little easy it becomes easier to, to figure out how to weld them on let's just try this so we'll just move this into place something like that and then with the segment sewing tool we can just sew this on there oh just need to flip this there you go so again, you can turn off the thickness to see, okay, so if it's dark here, that means the normals are flipped. And that's why the, the sewing line looked off before. So we'll just flip that. And then we'll just sew that onto the back pocket. And that'll, that'll sit nicely there. So I'll create a little internal line for the pocket, like so. This is just so we have a space to fold it on. Try to drag this out a little bit. Just have it lie here. Something like that. And then what we can do is we're gonna have, a, have to do a few different uh, sewing lines. So first I'll sew this to that and then I'll sew that to that. So to show you what I mean, in the 3D viewport here, 
you go so uh, this depends on you see out here in the 2d viewport how it changes you have like these two sewing segments that you can choose from we'll choose the the one closest to the center and then we'll sew that onto itself basically also close to the center we'll do this on both sides like so just sim that and now that sews onto itself. Cool. And then what we want to do is you want to sew this segment sewing tool onto itself there. Let's try that. There we go. And now the last thing we want to do is just sew this piece onto that piece. So if you check here, now you have these two sewing lines still available, or this top one and bottom one there. So this is just to prevent any intersection between the, the sewing, so to speak. So we'll just go in with the segment sewing tool and then just sew that onto there. Do the same thing on the other side. Sim it. I think we need to reverse this. <laughs> so hit the B key. Now we want to select dark blue line here and just hit control B. Do the same thing with the pink one, control B. That just reverses the sewing. And now that resolves perfectly. There we go. So now we have a little open back pocket here. So if you wanted to, you could always like sew this shut so it's not, so it doesn't poke out. Uh, maybe you don't want it to be open. That's totally up to you as well. So we do have an extra, do we have an extra line there? I think we do. Yeah, so we could sew this part onto, onto that part, for example. So if we went and did this like so, now that's stuck onto there. But then it's like, now your your pocket isn't open. So I guess it kind of depends on what you want in terms of the look for this. And then we can just take this pattern, control D, flip it over. There you go. Move it in 3D space. And we just sim it. Let it resolve for a bit. And there we go. And we have two pants or two kind of pockets, front and back, sitting nicely on the costume.